It's been a year since we reviewed the HP ZBook G6 mobile workstation aimed at users that demand the very best hardware specs in a laptop chassis. The ZBook Fury G7 usurps the G6 with updated hardware specs, a smaller design and plenty of upgrade options. Does it do enough to stay at the pinnacle of mobile workstations? Let's find out. <music> The Fury G7 is the practical big brother of the current ZBook mobile workstation range. The engineers managed to shave 12% in dimensions from the G6 predecessor. It's also slightly lighter at 2.35 kilograms or 5.18 pounds. The bezels around the full HD screen are thinner too. At just over one inch thick, the Fury G7 is not one to move around with you too much or even attempt to hold with one hand due to the weight. It's an aluminium magnesium laptop tested to military standard 810H to withstand drops, shocks and other environmental hazards, even up to a thousand cleaning cycles with household wipes in this Covid world. The bottom cover is toolless to open up. Slide the service door release hatch and undo the security screw to unlock and the bottom slides off. Slide the battery latches to the left to unlock and remove the 94 watt hour battery. This exposes the 2.5 inch hard drive SATA enclosure for additional archive storage. Unscrew the EMI and heat covers to show the two SODIMM slots along with a slot for the PCIe NVMe M.2 drive. The Intel Wi-Fi 6 AX201 wireless card is removable. There is space for a WAN 4G LTE module as an optional extra. To access the third and fourth SODIMM slots plus the second M.2 SSD slot, undo the three keyboard screws, detach the pointing stick cable and insert a release plastic tool through the keyboard release opening near the fan. This will pop open the keyboard slightly to allow you to remove the keyboard held with plastic clips. Release the ribbon connectors and the EMI covers to expose the two SODIMM slots and the second NVMe SSD slot. A maximum of 32GB per memory slot to give you a whopping 128GB of non-ECC memory capacity for data intensive workloads. The two M.2 drive slots give you the flexibility of RAID options if required. The 15.6 inch Full HD IPS anti-reflective display panel is excellent to use with intensive 3D tasks or just writing writing a 100 page report. Viewing angles are great from the IPS screen and colours are vivid with true blacks thanks to the 100% sRGB colour coverage. There's no backlight bleed from the panel and it's rated at 400 nits brightness to assist with great contrast and viewing from strong outdoor lighting. The strong dual hinges fold down to 180 degrees to give you the best reading angles and collaboration work with colleagues if needed. On the right we have an AC power connector, two Thunderbolt 3 40 gigabits per second signaling rate with super speed USB type C 10 gigabits signaling rate, USB power delivery DisplayPort 1.4 HP sleep and charge, one mini DisplayPort 1.4 HDMI 2.0B and a SD 4.0 media card reader. On the left we have a Gigabit RJ45, a Nano Security Lock, two USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-A ports, one with charging, headphone microphone combo jack and a smart card reader. Wireless connectivity is taken care of with the Intel Wi-Fi 6 AX201 2x2 vPro wireless module and Bluetooth 5 combo card. Wi-Fi 6 coverage was excellent over two floors and between three office rooms. Bluetooth was excellent too when connected to headphones or a Bluetooth mouse. The HP Premium Quiet keyboard is full size and spill resistant with a drain hole underneath. The keyboard is nicely spaced out with a numeric keypad and a HP programmable key to launch shortcuts like a favourite website or application. Typing is a joy with good travel on the chiclet keys, certainly not an issue with using the keyboard for a full working day. If your day stretches to the evening, the two level backlit keys will help. The sizable position click pad is surrounded by two sets of physical buttons, one for the touchpad and one for the point stick, located between the G, H and B keys. The click pad is superb thanks to the glass surface along with the generous dimensions. The point stick is accurate when you prefer to use this over the click pad. The dual stereo speakers are tuned by Banger Olufsen, with the result being impressive. The speakers are located above the keyboard for top firing orientation. Along with the discrete amp, there is no noticeable distortion at high levels. Whether you're listening to your college virtual tutor talking, or listening on Spotify to some jazz or James Arthur, sound is great especially as this is a workhorse mobile workstation. 
The ZBook has dual facing digital microphones and two at the back of the display lid for optimum pickup of audio when you're on a Zoom or Teams meeting. The Fury G7 is configured with a 720p webcam and IR camera for facial recognition, safe sign in with Windows Hello. There's a privacy shutter slider to block out the view. The IR camera worked well with quick logins. However, I can't say the same for the webcam. It's a poor webcam with blocky artifacts and weak color accuracy. For expensive workstation and a year since the pandemic started, manufacturers should be beefing up this area by now. The ZBook Fury G7 lineup is all about delivering high performance hardware. Our test model has an Intel Core i7-10850H processor based on the Comic Lake architecture. The 2.7 GHz base frequency goes up to 5.1 GHz with Intel Turbo Boost technology. The six cores run at a TDP of 45 watts. Our review laptop came with a single stick of 16GB DDR4 memory and a 512GB PCIe NVMe M.2 SSD. Working on Adobe Premiere Pro on one of my 4K reviews, even with just 16GB of RAM was easily manageable. Along with Photoshop Open, several browser tabs and Spotify streaming provided no challenge to the workstation. Benchmarking results show excellent scores. Cinebench R23 testing produced a score of 6,813 multi-core and 1,308 in single-core. 3 Mark Time Spy results came in with a CPU score of 5,921 and a graphics score of 3,159. PC Mark 10 had an overall score of 4,819 and superposition resulted in a score of 6,252. Geekbench 5.31 CPU tests gave a multi-core score of 5,655 and 1,250 single-core, while the compute test gave a score of 42,104 with a Quattro T2000 GPU. Of course, the i7-10850H is no match for the 8-core AMD Ryzen 7 4800H processor, especially a multi-core processing task. The i7-10850H manages to hold on to some gains on single-core tasks, but overall the 4800H is superior. The Fury G7 performs better when it's plugged into the mains, whereas throttle management hits the processor on battery life to keep thermals down. Fan noise is kept to a minimum thanks to HP's vapor force thermals at work. Cold air is sucked in from the bottom through the dual fans and out at the vents between the chassis and display. While I had it taxed with running benchmark tests like SEP View Perth for 40 plus minutes, the dual fans kept noise down to a quiet humming sound. As for thermals, the chassis stayed slightly warm to the touch both at the top of the keyboard and bottom cover. The vapour chamber and larger chassis dimensions help to keep things cool while under heavy load. Note if you go for the T2000 GPU or higher, more heat will be generated. Here's a list of the target audience for the HP ZBook Fury G7. Data scientists, product designers and engineers using Unity, Unreal Engine and Creo. Media and entertainment professionals, Adobe Premiere Pro, 3DS Max, and Autodesk Maya. Graphics on the Fury G7 is provided by the integrated Intel UHD Graphics 630i GPU and dedicated graphics from the NVIDIA Quattro T2000 with 4GB of GDDR6 dedicated memory. The T2000 GPU turning architecture sits below the Quattro RTX big boys like the RTX 3000 to 5000. T2000 does not feature ray tracing and tensor cores compared to the RTX cards. The Fury G7 range has numerous graphics options depending on your work requirements. Here's a list of the GPU options available to the 15 and 17 inch models. After a long day at the office or campus, will the Quattro T2000 play a spot of gaming? Absolutely. The GPU is similar to a GTX 1650Ti, so it will play most games at 1080p. Games like Doom Internal will happily play in high settings along with titles like Wasteland 3 that was launched in the middle of 2020. Even Microsoft Flight Simulator will play in medium settings with no issues, which normally like high-end specs to run successfully. HP have provided excellent security features on the Fury G7. Fingerprint sensor for login authentication, Kensington lock, integrated webcam cover for privacy, and an integrated TPM 2.0 security chip. On the software front, HP have a wealth of tools to choose from. Examples include HP SureClick to protect from websites and isolated virtual machine. HP Sure Recover ensures fast, secure, and automated recovery of your OS with only a network connection. 
HP Shoreon to keep critical security protections up and running and prevent unwanted changes to security settings. The ZBook Fury G7 has an 8 cell 94 watt hour battery. In testing, battery life on average is around 4 to 5 hours with general light usage like web surfing, YouTube, and Microsoft Word. With heavy work, expect around 2.5 hours. Video playback, expect around 3.5 hours. Fast charging with the 150 watt Slim Smart external AC power adapter takes around 30 minutes to charge to 50%. Three quarters full in around an hour. Top three pros and cons before buying the HP ZBook Fury G7. Fantastic upgrades. The ZBook has almost desktop like upgrade options at its disposal. Three storage options and four memory slots for a potential 128GB of fast DDR4 memory and 10TB of storage. Hardware configurations. If you have deep enough pockets, the Fury G7 range has a multitude of hardware configuration options. For starters, you can configure it with a Xeon W10A85M processor, 128GB of memory, option for four M.2 drives, 4K Dreamcolor display panel, a NVIDIA Quattro RTX 5000 graphics, and 4G LTE mobile broadband card. Plenty of ports. There's no denying the Fury G7 has a plethora of ports at its disposal. Two Thunderbolt 3 ports, mini display port, HDMI, two USB Type-A ports, Ethernet and two types of card readers. Thick and heavy. The ZBook Fury G7 has slimmed down from the G6 model, but it's still bulky and awkward to hold due to its thick dimensions. However, it's manageable if you're just moving it from your rucksack to a desk and back. Battery life. It's unsurprising that the ZBook Fury G7 didn't last a full workday on a charge, considering the hardware specs that it's packing. If you go for the 4K panel over the 4HD model, expect a further reduction in battery life. Expensive. The base model starts from around £2,000 or dollars, but if you start adding options to the shopping cart, you can easily spend over £10,000 or dollars. Of course, we're talking top-of-the-line mobile workstations for heavy workloads. There's healthy competition in the mobile workstation category. What are the alternatives to the ZBook Fury G7? In no particular order, here's some to consider. Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 3. Dell Position 7550. MSI WS66. Razer Blade 15 Studio Edition. The HP ZBook Fury G7 is designed for heavy workloads in a tough chassis. There are plenty of hardware options to choose from. The tallest entry is a bonus, along with desktop level upgrades to increase memory and storage options. The display panel is excellent along with a good set of speakers and a full size keyboard. Battery life takes a massive hit and it's bulky in size, but its aim is to sit at a desk all day with a Thunderbolt 3 dock to external monitors. Plus the bonus of its bulky size is excellent thermals and plenty of ports to choose from. If you're looking for the prettiest and slimmest laptop in the room, the ZBook Fury G7 is not the one for you. If you care more about top performance, practical upgrade options and getting the job done, the HP ZBook Fury G7 is hard to beat. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the HP ZBook Fury G7 laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you'd like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Oh, 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 oh,